Yo, what it do is your boy Underboy Duggan. We back with another video, gang. So, as you seen in the last video, boy was like, all right, I ordered a line. And I ain't gonna lie. Literally, yesterday I posted the video. And the next day, we got the line. So, I'm gonna make an attempt to put the line on. I don't know if I can get it on. It honestly looks kind of short. It doesn't look long enough to go to this um to the slave. It does say it goes to the it goes to the master cylinder and the slave. So uh I don't know. This line looks really fucking short. Really short. So I'm gonna go downstairs. We're just gonna roll this intro and let's try to get this line on. Just Alright, so major update. Yes, it is dark outside. I've been working on this since like 5 o'clock, maybe 6 o'clock my time. So, update is we got one of the lines out. This is actually the line that goes to the master, the clutch slave or clutch master slave. Um, this one, obviously, I, I unthreaded it from right there. It was a hassle to get out, but it came out no issues whatsoever. Um, so that's, I don't know what I'm doing with that line, but the kit does make it all the way through. through. I do have the banjo bolt. The homie Joe actually told me how to do it. So I'll obviously put the washers in, then the banjo bolt, and then obviously we're good. So this kit's been fine. I did snap the little plastic piece that was right here. And I am am having an issue of getting this hose out because I'm trying to loosen it from right here and it is not making an attempt to come out. That's the only not line I would need to take out. And then this whole thing comes out. Obviously I will run the blue hook, the braided line through here, try to clamp it somehow, maybe put like a zip tie over there, try to hold it up nice and secure as possible. I had to take off my air intake just to get to these lines, but it is fine. And I will hit the camera right when I thread this back on. All right, we're back. So I still haven't put these on yet, but the homie Joe and Dennis were saying, tell me how to put this on. I'm pretty sure they were saying, cause I'm slow. It's washer, fitting, fitting, washer, banjo bolt that so i'm gonna try to you know yeah i'm gonna try to do that and then they were telling me to not have this snake around so it's it is on um it is on a coolant hose so i'm just gonna snake this out right now and then just obviously try to fix it up and do it right but gotta love having a 22 year old car with issues well it didn't have major issues until i beat on the car but honestly i like the little blue in the engine bay it matches the theme of the car so it'd be good all right i'm sorry i have not been real detailed on how to do this um so obviously i'm gonna show you also the first line you would have to, well, the line I first took off, I took it from the master, master clutch cylinder itself. So that was an easy one to unthread. Obviously it was kind of cramped in there. So it took a little bit to get out, but it came out, it came out smooth. Obviously I unthreaded the, the, the other end that was attached to the black hose, the black hose uh, looking one and the ones that are really caked on is the ones that are it, that actually connected to the clutch slave on both ends it does not want to come out so honestly don't know what to do on that but we do have the line going through i'm about to put the banjo bolt on um the front homie joe i'm gonna put his instagram down here and actually i don't know if we should do a video on this we talked about it 
he, as y'all seen on the video, he has, if y'all haven't seen it, I'm pretty sure it's been on the channel. He has the silver EM2 DX non VTEC motor. So that car is pretty much going away after his new project is finished built. Let's just say, no, I'm not gonna say anything. If we do a video, we do a video on it. Um, at first I was kind of a little jealous, but I was hyped at the same time. Cause it's like, hey, it's let's just say it's still in the Honda gang. He's still part of the Honda gang. So it's gonna be me, Dennis and Joe in our Hondas. And it's, it's still a Civic. I can say that for sure. I'm not gonna say what model it is. I'm not gonna say anything but it's still a civic that's all i'm gonna give you but i can't wait for that thing to be done and on the streets and i can't wait to do videos on it maybe even do a review or a breakdown of what's going on to it have him explain what he's doing to the car future plans all that so i don't know if i'm gonna make this two-part video so the line is gonna run from aussie the new clutch slave it's gonna run all the way it's gonna go through here under and it's gonna not it's not gonna utilize this little bracket right here because if i do use it i won't be able to twist this this fitting and it won't be able to go so it's gonna go under the brakes on um, brake master cylinder and it's gonna obviously thread in right here and how the homie joe said it you're gonna have to go bolt washer throw it through the fitting and then put the next washer on and then hold it down and thread in the fitting so we're going to do that right now and obviously i'm not going to try to record it because obviously i don't have no nothing to hold it but we're gonna i'm gonna show you how to do it so obviously you take one of the washers out you're gonna want to put it in like this first and obviously you want to throw it through the fitting and then it's pretty much going to be like this one the washer inside the little fitting that's on the line and then this and then thread it on so we're gonna do that right now and i'll pick up the camera when it's done so after a little bit of a struggle we got it on this is how it's gonna sit and yeah the line looks pretty much fine um besides you know putting my body through some rough places it's fine it looks good now it's just now time to bleed it out and yeah hopefully this doesn't cause any issue hopefully at the end after i get this other line out we could actually lift this line up and actually properly place it this is just for right now obviously i'm not going to keep it raggedy like this but now it's time to see if the car will actually shift if i actually can get pressure in my line and all that and if i can success but we're gonna do that obviously tomorrow or try to find another day um yeah just thank god do lines in so issues hopefully resolved i'm just gonna put my air intake back on because i did take it off just to get this line removed um and yeah um i can't wait to Athlete got Lexi back on the road. I'm more drivable. And like I said, the goodies in the back, that can be for later on. That's not a major thing to do right now. So obviously by maybe tomorrow, I might put the head bolts back on. And yeah, hopefully stuff will get done. And yeah, hopefully. All right, so I tried to do the line and we got the line all situated. It's just that, uh, my bad, my girl is just looking at me on my other phone since this phone, you know, YouTube purposes, right? But I tried to do the line and freaking, uh, one of the washers fell and I've been, I was literally trying for like an hour straight just to get it on and it would not go on. Um, especially only when I took the washer and the fitting out, washers and the fitting out, and I tried to do it just the bolt itself, the banjo bolt, it would thread on. But oh my gosh, she's looking at me. 
but <laughs> but um yeah so it would not go in unless i threaded it in but i'm probably just gonna go if i don't see find it in my engine bay tomorrow go to work buy the assortment of uh washers just keep them just in case i need them and and then uh yeah put them see if i can put that line on and i'm trying to do it by myself because i don't really don't want to count on nobody i'm trying to do it myself so that's another thing but yeah i'll pick up the camera when uh i get the new washer all right or pick it up tomorrow i don't know i'll let y'all know yo um i'm just gonna make this a two-part video uh last night i was frustrated i ended up dropping the washer in my engine bay um i can't seem to find it usually it would be right here in this general area but it sounded like it slipped in more on my subframe and i don't know where exactly could it be i don't see it um so i'm just gonna buy a new one and opt out for a new one but as you see the line is ran it's ran through goes under then over and under the clutch slave it's being a pain but i'm gonna try to do it another day when it's not raining so it's gonna be raining for the next two days so hopefully this week maybe wednesday um i'm gonna try to attempt it again i'm gonna bring the banjo bolt with me i might buy the washer assortment to see if it has the washer in there or i think we have at my job um certain ones certain sizes so i'm going to attempt to see if we have it um if we don't then i'm maybe we buy the kit and i'm not sure um it's kind of annoying kind of frustrated but uh yeah but thank y'all for watching thank y'all for the support that people have been giving me so far um import devo videos going crazy um on the day video still can't believe that's at a thousand it's it's crazy surreal that's like one of my big two biggest videos is right there is those two videos but uh yeah we're just gonna pack it up call it a day uh I tried to just look for it real quick right now. I can't find it anywhere, so. Yeah, we're on the standstill, but we do have one of the lines out, the one that ran to the slave itself. It's out, as you've seen last night. That one was in the pain. The only one that really was a pain was the old one. And there was this one right here that's still attached to the old slit, the old mass, uh, clutch slave, so. Yeah just gonna pick it up another day and uh see if we can get on but bring your boy on the boy doogie i love y'all thank y'all for the support y'all give me um don't forget to like comment share subscribe do all that and uh i'm out peace